Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3761 for one of my best buddies, Monica. All right, so we've got 20 moves to collect 33 red and 33 yellow. We don't have those colors organically on the board here, so we have to create them by getting these lucky candies. I only have one dispenser and it's here, but I do have these conveyor belts. So what I want to do is keep opening this up. Now the reason this level is so hard is because I've got four colors on the board, right, originally? But then as I start opening this, I've got a total of six colors on the board. Since I have to take yellow and red, these are going to open up. Some of them will be yellow, some of them will be red, and therefore they're not always going to match up. I'm trying to get a blue through here to help out. But as soon as we can get just one of these colors, I love that stripe along here. If we can get one of these colors collected, then everything else will be the other color. So it's just we can't really determine what's going to happen. It's all chance as to what color things become. For the most part, I want to keep these things in the center. I don't want to be moving them off. Uh, but sometimes it just makes sense to alter my plans based on the board. I've got some stripes and some wrapped candies I'm making and that's good because if I get a wrapped yellow that adds one more yellow on the board that I don't have to collect from these um, lucky candies. Now notice I used something from outside and brought it in. These candy cane fences are so restrictive and sometimes that's hard to do and it's so hard that sometimes we forget that that's a possibility. So don't forget to look outside those boundaries. Okay, let's see. Now I think I'm going to get a stripe draft combo. So we're going to blow this place up. I could collect the red. That's tempting. But instead I'm going to collect the red and do this. Really pull things through. Okay. Well, we're getting close to collecting all red. Unfortunately, we're also getting close to being done with our turn. This is not marked as a hard level, but I would label it as such. All right, sorry, Monica, didn't get it that time around. Let's go ahead and try once more. Okay, if I make this stripe here, it's going to drop the yellow or red down below. So I'm going to see, I'm going to contemplate each move. I think I like this better, putting these orange together. We have to look at how we can get these colors together. I will make this wrapped. The wrapped candies are so beautifully explosive. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we're getting some nice cascading already. I wish that the conveyor belts wouldn't have taken away that opportunity to put the candies together there. I don't have any good moves now. So this is a bit disappointing. How can I take the best of the bad moves? This really looks like the only option here. Uh, still not a good move, but I'll make a stripe and try to amend some of that bad luck. Now I'm going to go ahead and blow everything up that I can in that path. There we're getting our collection done. So it's always best every time we play to try to see how things are going and develop a strategy. This is one of those where the more often you play it, the better you are at it because you start to see patterns develop. You start to get a feel for how things go. That wrapped candy keeps flying away from me and I wanted to keep it in this area. Remember to take out those colors as they come together. If I can get rid of all yellow, then I only have red left available. There we go. Look at that. This is good. Keep going. Nice cascading right through the center. This is where I want to work most. Okay, so two moves, four left to get, a couple of specials on the board. I'm actually going to do this to pull things toward the center. And there we go. 
So Monica, it is possible that was my second playthrough for recording. Um, keep working on this center area. Don't let things slide off too far. There's a bit of luck required, especially because there's so much with the conveyor belts. But again, the more often you play it, although I think you're probably tired of it, the better feel you get for it. I hope this helps you and everyone else. If you folks find this helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.